Hello everyone, this is the second part of Sweater History by Johnny Jumper. The line of sweaters which is bringing the breed such popularity today came from Roy Brady. Roy Brady who got some of the first mating of sweaters. And Sonny Ware who also got these sweaters, then Otis Chapel got as well from Sonny. Then next is Carol Nesmith and the Browns of Mississippi. Here is the actual story. Carol Nesmith, who was competing with Sonny at derbies, and ask if he can get at least some of his yellow-legged sweaters, but Sonny refuses and he did not want Carol to have a single drop of blood of his sweaters. Then one day several years later, a good friend of Carol called and said he would sell a trio of the sweaters to him, because he was getting out of the game foul business, it was no other than Otis Chapel. Otis then sell a young trio of these sweaters to Carol. But it's not a simple type of sweaters, it was actually Sonny Ware sweaters who refuses to sell him before. Sonny Ware, had let Otis have an old sweater cock and two hens to breed, Otis had to return the cock and hens to Mr. Ware, but before he returns it, he have already produced offspring of these sweaters to sell. So Carol bought a trio of young sweaters and that's how he got his first sweaters. Otis Chapel let a number of friends in addition to Carol, have his sweaters, so the blood has been distributed rather widely in central Alabama in recent years. It has been excellent blood for all who got it. This line of sweaters produces occasional green-legged offspring, usually pullets. When asked about this, Roy Brady said that at one time some hatch was bred into this line. This line is said also to carry small amount of radio blood. The sweaters described in this article are typically orange-red to light-red in color, with yellow legs and pea combs. Of interest, however, Dolan Owens of Bonneville, Mississippi, acquired some of the early sweaters and has bred them to come uniformly dark, wine-red in color, straight comb, and white-legged. In looks, these two lines of sweaters show almost no resemblance. This is an example of how a family of fowl can be bred toward different standards by different breeders, and in a few generations the two lines will be like two different breeds. Sunny Ware bred some radio into the sweaters making them pumpkin in color. Most people like this color better and breed to that end.